All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Hooray! Okay, so I did tell you in class and we took notes on two different ways to add and subtract mixed numbers. I'm going to show you one way, the way that I am more and more successful doing. So I'm going to use the problem three and three fourths plus four and five twelfths. Now, remember that the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at your fractions. We have to look at 3 fourths and 5 twelfths. We need to find a lowest common multiple or lowest common denominator for 3 fourths and 5 twelfths. That's our first step. All right, so we have to find the lowest common multiple or lowest common denominator of 3 fourths and 5 twelfths. So looking at my denominators, I have a 4 and a 12. Remember to find this, you skip count. So 4, 8, 12, 16, and then I'm going to skip count 12 by 12, 12, 24, and 36. And if I look at this, I see that 12 is my lowest common denominator, which means that both of my fractions will turn into equivalent fractions with 12 as the denominator. Since 5 twelfths is already in 12, it just comes straight down. However, 3 fourths needs to be converted into 12, so I have to think how many times 4 times what will give me 12? Get that out of the way. You have to think about that. Or you can come over here to where you skip counted if you wrote it out and count how many times you skip counted to get to 12. 1, 2, 3. So 4 times 3 gives me 12, and 3 times 3 equals 9. Remember that whatever you multiply the denominator by, you have to multiply the numerator by. You can't leave this guy hanging out by himself. So now that we have equivalent fractions to these fractions, these are equivalent, now that these have the same denominator, I can add these together. So my 12 stays the 12, and I add 9 plus 5, which I get 14. Now when you look at 14 12, you can see that 14 is larger than 12. Let me move that over. My numerator is larger than my denominator, which means that this is an improper fraction, and I put that cat on there sometimes to remember the baseball cap to make it improper to remember that it's a casual fraction and it's not the right way so in order for me to fix this improper fraction to make it into a mixed number to simplify it i have to do 14 divided by 12. 12 goes into 14 one time i take it away and i get two left over now remember when i write my mixed number i start at the top i go to the bottom and I go to the left. So my mixed number for this fraction is actually 1 and 2 twelfths. Now I'm going to pull this fraction out, I'm sorry, this mixed number out, and I'm going to put it down here. Because as I look at this fraction and in this mixed number, I can tell that this 2 twelfths can be simplified even further. So this is where we look at our greatest common factor. I have to find out what the greatest common factor is for 2 and 12. And I know that the factors for 2 are 1 times 2, and the factors for 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Now if I look at this, they have two numbers in common. They have 1 and 2, but 2 is the greatest. Since 2 is the greatest common factor, I divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, and we get 1 6. So now my fraction and my mixed number is actually 1 6. 1 and 1 6. Okay. Since I have added my fractions, I'm going to check those off because I've already done those. Now I need to add my whole numbers. So that's a quick and easy step. I'm going to make some space over here. 3 plus 4 will give me 7. So now I need to take 7 and 1 and 1, 6 and add those together. So 7 plus 1 and 1, 6. 7 plus 1 gives me 8. And I bring over my 1, 6. So my answer to this problem is 8 and 1, 6. So that is how you add fractions together. This one had a lot of steps in it. The next one I'm going to show you is how to subtract mixed numbers. And I said to mix I had some fractions earlier. I meant mixed numbers. So here, let's look at this one. 5 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 1 fourth. So now instead of adding, we are subtracting. 
still do the same step. Still looking for my lowest common denominator, lowest common multiple of 8 and 4. And skip counting 8, 16, and 24. Skip count 4, 8, and 12. Right here, their lowest common de denominator and lowest common multiple is going to be 8. So I bring down my 8s here. I'm going to make these into equivalent fractions that have an 8 as a denominator. 3 8 stays as 8. Asking yourself 4 times what will give me 8. Go back over here if you need to. 4 times 1 times 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I can subtract because my denominators are the same. Bring your 8 straight across. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. There is no simplifying, no reducing that I need to do, because when you look at greatest common factor for 1, you have 1 times 1. And your greatest common factors for 8, or your factors for 8, sorry, are 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. And the only factor they have in common is 1. Now, this is a unit fraction. If you ever have a unit fraction, it is already reduced and simplified as far as it can go. If it has a 1 as a numerator, it is already reduced. So here I have 1 8. So I've taken care of my fractions. Checking those off. Now I need to do my whole number, subtract them. 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 gives me 4. And I put these two back together again. So I get 4 plus 1 8. And our answer ends up being 4 and 1 8. And that is how you add and subtract mixed numbers.